Hi everybody, I'm Barb Steinberg, a parent coach for parents of teen girls, a teen life coach for girls, and a speaker on parenting teen girls. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, how some of our decisions and choices and rules and limitations that we put on our kids are really coming from fear. And when we are operating from a place of fear, we're probably not going to get the result that we want with our teens and tweens. I'll give you an example. I recently was meeting with a couple, a lovely couple who clearly loves their children very much and are great parents. And they were, they are very, very healthy and they are really concerned about their daughter being healthy and making healthy choices with food and exercising regularly and so on. And they were noticing that their daughter, you know, wasn't choosing healthy food and wouldn't eat whole groups of food and wouldn't eat the healthy food that they were making for her or were, you know, would take her smoothie and dump it out in the backyard <laughs> um, and didn't really want to exercise like the parents wanted to or how often the parents wanted her to. So they were talking about, you know, this being, these are strong values for them. They care about these choices and these behaviors for themselves and obviously for their children. And they talked about <clears throat> other parents that they know about who have children who are overweight or are obese and that scares them. You know, they, and, the, and they were noticing that their friends are also really healthy, but their children didn't seem to be. And that really worried them and it scared them. And so we talked about that they're, um, wanting to control their daughter's food choices and to, you know, make her do a certain amount of exercise every day or join them when they're doing push-ups or sit-ups or um, on a daily, regular basis, that it was really coming from a place of fear, that they're afraid that she's going to be overweight and they're afraid that she's going to be unhealthy. And the more we talked about it, they really identified that those controlling behaviors on their part were coming from fear. And when it comes from fear, our kids can pick up that we're afraid. And they can also pick up the way that you, child, my child, the choices you're making, the things you're doing, it's displeasing to me. I don't like it. I want you to change. I want you to be more like me. And they can feel that. And it's, it's unspoken, but they feel it and they know it. And anytime our child is feeling like, I want you to be more like me, they're going to rebel and resist that because they're not supposed to be exactly like us. They're supposed to be exactly like who they're meant to be. Now that said, we're talking about adolescence, right? And they're trying to individuate. If I'm trying to be an individual, then I'm trying to not be like you, I'm trying to be like me. So that means that there's the period of time in adolescence where I'm pushing against who you want to be and the choices you want me to make. I mean, I think some of you have noticed if you're if you're anything like me, you know, I had a really healthy household. Then I in adolescence I was busy, you know, driving through the McDonald's drive-through, and then I grew up a little bit, and then I went back to those values that I was taught, which many of your kids I predict will do. So even though she might be, you know, wanting to dump out her smoothie, you might find that she's 20 and when she's 25, she's busy making green smoothies every day. So let's go back to the fear. They really resonated with the fact that they were operating from a place of fear and it wasn't working for them. And so can we operate from a place of love? Can we operate from a place of acceptance, um, from a place of allowance? I'm allowing you to be who you are today. I accept who you are today. I get it. You don't want to drink smoothies every day like I do. You don't really love doing push-ups and sit-ups like I do, but you really love to dance or you really love to play basketball. So we talked about the idea of not expecting our kids to change their behavior to make us feel less fearful. It's our job to deal with our fears and our worries. It's not their job to fix it for us and to make us feel better. Our job is to really come to them and say, yeah, health is a value for us as your parents. Let's figure out a way that, let's figure out what health looks like for you and figure out ways that you can feel good in your skin and your life. 
So um, exploring that with her. Maybe, you know, she hates fruit, but she doesn't mind vegetables or vice versa. And so you're thinking to yourself, okay, it, she is getting some nutrition. She is getting some live whole foods. Or, you know, she prefers basketball over running two miles with you. Okay, she's getting some movement. You know, she has PE every day. She's getting some movement. She's outside some. So kind of releasing and letting go of that, the, the control coming from a place of fear. And I promise you, the more that you do this, the more that you're meeting your teen where she is, the better relationship you're going to have for sure. And I know that that's what all of you want. You know, you want to provide her with all the values and the tools that you have, and you want to stay connected and have a loving, positive relationship. So for more on this, you can go to my website, barbsteinberg.com, and I've got a couple of, well, I have several uh, online workshops, two of which pertaining to this. One is called Talking to Your Teens, and the other is How to Connect with Your Daughter. That's just more information for you to really dive into these topics. Um, and hopefully you found this helpful. If you have, I hope that you'll like the video and share the video. And I appreciate you listening. And I hope, I wish you the best of luck on your parenting journey. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.